okay I have already launched my uh, web code server uh, and do a proper login so all right so the login is already done and of course we are now at the client side client side filtering the first tab actually is just a bunch of reading so I'll leave that to you now I'm moving into the second tab which is the only lab over here so you are already logged in as a uh, Mo Stooge right. and you have everyone's information except the CEO which is by this name over here right. uh, basically that is the whole idea here now for this particular assignment uh, you are supposed to examine the content page and see what extra information that you can find and if I scroll down over here you will find that they actually want to know what is your CEO's uh, salary so to use this uh, although I have Zap running at the back but actually I don't actually need it I can just choose any particular employee it doesn't really matter here but of course you can't find the views uh, salary here but anyway it doesn't matter let me just choose one of it so of course if I choose Tomcat I will see Tomcat salary and so forth right. but, but what I will actually want to do now is I want to examine the content and to do this I will go into the inspect element since I have an idea of who I actually want to uh, look for I can just do a quick search right. sorry I'm not supposed to search this one up here I'm supposed to search the okay let me run the search over here okay there is one of it there is something over here and you will find that uh, somewhere inside here there is actually a hidden information uh, you will see some column okay and one of the column actually is your interview then of course the name of the your CEO and there is actually a number here which if I correlate it should be the ID, first name, last name, uh, SSN, and this by right should be the salary. So it's 45, uh, no, it's 450,000. Okay, so let's try this number 450, then followed by 30, and I will submit the answer. And I actually get the congratulation message over here. So basically, the there is additional information hidden inside the code, or right, that is written by the server. But uh, inside a browser, basically anyone can actually read the code. 